Hi, friends and golfers. Eric Silver, EDS Golf Academy. Stuff that happens a lot to my golfers, especially this is something I've seen the ones that go through my programs are six months to a year where we meet weekly or every other week, stuff like that. Um, we'll make these big advances, okay? And then what happens is they'll have this little breakdown. Maybe I don't see them for a week or two or something happens. And typically what has happened during this breakdown, where they feel like they've lost it is, they've forgotten what got them there, okay? So it's like the simple things, I would say, if you want to call them simple, but it, it was hard work for them to get in the, in the correct posture, right? It's not easy work to learn how to get the proper turn and pivot and rotation, okay? So those things were learned, a good takeaway, you know, instead of going like this, you know, we had learned to, to club more up here. So we've worked on all this stuff, but then yet, you get to this level and you're like, okay, I'm kind of over that stuff now. Push that to the side. I'm ready to move on to something bigger and better because I'm much better now. And that's just human nature, okay? It, it, it is. But I can tell you this from TTM, tour players, we work constantly on that stuff. Those fundamentals, those beginning steps to make sure, okay, like you can have somebody go completely bad in golf just because they start aiming up like this. And when they're trying to go that way. So the next thing you know, their body's way open. What has to happen? They're probably going to whip the club back in. they got to make some kind of compensation, okay, over time. And, you know, the next thing you know, clubs, since we want to swing on our body line, you know, so clubs probably come out here, probably going to end up with some kind of fade um, that turns into a slice. And then you wonder, the whole swing's gone downhill. And you're like, what happened? Well, it was a progression, okay? So these little steps and I you know like fundamentals I've gone over in videos on YouTube of what I believe they are um, minus the ones of you know setup posture alignment I believe in all those to me those are yes they are I, I don't think they're fundamentals I think they're critical to what we do but not everybody is the same way okay somebody who typically like me who likes to aim open well, I need to be that way every time. I can't aim up this way one time, then the next day I, I go to play golf and I have my shoulders like this. I'm going to be a wreck, okay? So, and it's finding the proper matchups within that with grip and a lot of other things that go into that part. But once that stuff is down, okay, then we move into what I've talked about with rotation, you know, getting our impact good. But we have to have those beginning ones set and know that we're doing them and I, and I always say just check them every time you go to the range it's simple as a foot down alignment so it's simple to go here don't check your feet check your hips check your shoulders okay like this is the alignment that matters i can step like this and look at my shoulders and hips i'm gonna swing along my shoulder line and based on my hip line i'm not gonna swing along this foot line okay so um check those don't worry about what your feet are doing I like alignment sticks on the ground so you can constantly check it. Now, don't practice with it always because you want to not get used to them. You want to do it. So you want to make sure you're checking them. Every time you go to the range to start a new session, every time you're starting, it's the first thing I would do is check those simple things. Okay. So somebody like me, for I would say for me, a fundamental fundamental is me, you know, not going like this. Okay. Because if I can swing, like I sometimes will want to go like this more with my foot, back foot, and see what that does my trail hip there. So I have to be cognizant of rolling, seeing what my ankle is doing, keeping that knee in. So I, I have, and to me, this is the fundamental of my golf swing that I have to do. It's not a little trick or anything. It's a fundamental that I have to do. Otherwise, my body likes to go whoo, like this, throw this right hip out, and then I'm a mess. I have no room, really extending and everything. Instead of working on, this is an exaggeration, but feeling like I come in rolling that ankle to the ground and transferring like that to help the parts go okay so what i'm getting at is don't forget what got you to where you are at okay now let's say you get to that point and you've lost it okay you you're like whoa what what has happened i i can't even play anymore and this is what a recent scenario was that with me with the student and i told her like you haven't lost anything you're still the same golfer right you wake up each day, each and every one of us, with our same faults every day. Like, I don't wake up with yours. You don't wake up with mine, okay? So every day I'm waking up as the same person with the same faults. So if something goes wrong in my golf swing, just out of the blue, I don't need to go searching YouTube, 
you know, as long as I'm with an instructor who's taught me this stuff and figure out, okay, what is going on now? I just can't figure it out. Go back and figure out what you did to get where you were at, and you're going to find it. So, you know, like typically a lot, one of the other things we'll see is a lot of this is, you know, the setup will get bad too, but uh, arm, we'll just get this like real arm you swing or something. There's no body involved anymore. Okay, so it's like, you're no way you can play good like that. So we have to make sure we are recruiting our body in this swing. You know, feeling, I always feel like just this push of pressure down that we're pushing away. We're pushing this thing out here. Everything is pushing away. And everybody likes to, all these people like to get this club and get it up here and feel like it's next to our ear. No, get those hands and everything as far away from you as you can. If your arms don't go as high as like mine don't either, then you're going to be somewhere here. But I'm not here. That's much more powerful than me going, okay, I'm going to go here. Oh, look, I got a parallel swing. <laughs> because look how I got there. I don't have a ton of room here to show you this, but if this is my this is my stretch, my full swing, right? Oh, look, I'm parallel. Look what I did. I see this all the time. The body stops rotating like this, and the person goes here. Oh, yeah, I'm parallel. No, you're not. You just, you just really screwed your swing up by doing that. Push away from you. You know, I feel like everything is getting far away, and you're keeping this – away from you. I mean, simple terms, our body's turning, right? And we're pushing these hands away from us is, is a simple kind of a way to look at it, okay? Like uh, some of my students, depending on where their swing is at, what they're doing is I like them hitting balls with their heels together, toes apart. And if they're a pretty strong rotational player, like that's where they get their power, you'll notice that they can learn to hit this shot at like 90%, okay? And just like that, because their power, they're such a rotational player, it's just where they get it from. We're all different. You may be more of a, you know, get it more horizontally. You may get a lot more vertically, okay? But for those of you that just generate tons of torque from the turn, um, you're going to do that drill there and go, you know, hey, I can get 90%. I can have somebody else do that drill who's, you know, does a lot of push off their front leg, and that's where they get most of their uh, ground reactions. Forces through the ground going like this, and they say so they don't have much here. I put them on a drill. They have trouble getting power. They want to go down like this and do whatever they can to get it. So for me, that you know, unless I'm trying to build up some more rotational power in them, that's not a great drill for them, right? I would probably throw them on something like here, get them all on their front side because that's what they like, and learn to – be able to rotate from there and get good impact conditions down there. So every student is different, okay, um, based on who we are. People, physiologically, um, our bodies are different, okay, but nothing, I guess I should say, don't sound the alarms when you have a bad round. Go back to what got you to where you were. Now, if you don't know how you got anywhere and you just don't understand your swing, well, then you need to see a professional that can teach you your golf swing, okay? I'm making an assumption that most of my students that are with me, my students that are with me, they know their golf swing. They may forget this advice I'm giving and get caught up in the game and forget. But once I tell them that, they all have built these checkpoints in their swing to go, hmm, okay, I don't feel good. I don't feel comfortable at all today. But you know what? I know I should be about here. Okay, I know my students to be about here. I know when I come down, I should probably be about here. I want to be like this at impact. If you know those things right there, and you know how to get there in slow motion, you can get it back really quick. Now, if you're one of those guys that flips through Golf Digest or YouTube and just looks for that tip of the day, you're never going to, you're going to go flounder your whole golf career because you don't, you have no idea what your golf swing is. Um, you have to build your golf swing with proper matchups and the proper fundamentals for you, okay? Not my fundamentals, your fundamentals, okay? They're, they're, they're different. Our grips are probably going to be different. Yours may, maybe they're the same, but you may be taller. I may be, I, you know, everything's different between golfers. So my suggestion is this, and I, I think I did a video on this earlier. As long as your golfer understands your golf swing and what you're trying to do in it, and things go haywire, go backwards to what got you where you're at, okay? One big one with my, me and my students is this. So, you know, if I just feel so disconnected and arms are feel like here, body feels like here, I go right back to where it all started. 
in a good posture, get my rotational drill going so I can feel a nice job here, right? And I feel like I get myself getting into, boom, a good position there. So it's like, you know, if I feel like I'm starting to really extend again like this, right? I'm gonna make sure I'm getting this proper hip hinge here, keeping the arm probably up longer. So I'll go something like this. Maybe a little exaggeration, but I'll feel it. You know, so we're, look what I'm doing. So see how I get my butt back. I've regained my hip hinge and I'm looking up at my, how for me, my ankle is rolling in. You don't see any early extension there, right? So I go back to, for me, what I know I do wrong. Now I will videotape it to see it. What am I doing? I don't have that ability I, to videotape at that point, which I don't know why I wouldn't, but if I didn't, then I will go back to just drills that I know that I always do that are always good for me and, and stuff that I know that can typically go wrong. Like I love to go like this and, you know, basically, you know, throw my arms at it and have one of those old swings. I mean, cause I was brought up like a lot of you, if you're older like me, where I did this big slide and then this thing comes in like this. So that's, you know, now I want to be more rotational like this because it's a lot better for my body. Okay. So, Nothing's gone haywire as long as you understand your golf swing. Go back to what got you where you were, okay? Two weeks prior or whatever it was prior to get back to what you can be, okay? And you'll find out it's not that hard to get there, okay? Go back to your favorite drills or whatever they were, and you'll find out you're there quick. Like I said, if you don't know who you are as a golfer, find it out with a golf coach so it's done correctly. Matchups are super important. You're not going to hear about those in videos like this because I don't know who you are, okay? I'll tell you about my matchups and some matchups I give other people, but can I do that for you right here? No. So, folks, thanks for watching. Eric Story, EJS Golf Academy. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, thank you.